Hey guys. Well, it's been a while, uh, and I apologize. We haven't been making very many videos. Uh, December and January are always slow for us. And then you start stacking the COVID on top of that. And, and then just not, not very many good, it, good opportunities. You just don't want to see a whole bunch of videos of the same thing over and over again, I'm sure. So, uh, tonight we are, I do have a little something for you, something exciting. I got this very, very worn, very, very old uh, rug that we're going to look at. Um, I'm also recording on my phone so I can give you some little, little closer up uh, pictures. So by the time you watch this, we're going to be at 700 subscribers, which I know ain't much, but man, that's a whole bunch for us. We started with nothing and you know we don't have a huge following, but I do appreciate you guys that are loyal to us and watch us when we come out with new videos. And I promise I'm going to do a better job of getting you some videos out. Uh, if you, this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. Make sure you click that subscribe button below. Uh, make sure you click the little bell so you get notified when we come out with new stuff. We're probably going to be spending a lot more time in the rug shop this year. Uh, that business is really doing pretty well. We got our new equipment in and going. You can see some rugs behind me on the floor. Um, we're still working kind of by appointment only thanks to the whole COVID thing. We don't have anybody up here all day every day yet, but it's growing well. The uh, machine business is also growing. We're helping to import more and more of these quality Caracciale machines to the U.S. to a uh, rogue shop near you. But anyway, on to the more exciting stuff. Let me show you a little bit of this rug. Um, this is a customer's rug that was brought to us the other day. And I'm going to get a little closer with my phone here and show you this rug has almost no pile left on it. It is hand woven. It's pretty old. Got some initials on a little ID tag right there. I'm not sure if that's original. Very little pile left. The warp and foundation yarns are not in bad shape, except for there is a tear on this far end. And then there's a small tear toward the middle. So we're not gonna do much for repairs on this rug. It's just kind of worn too far gone. And the edge is gone right there. And they really enjoy it and it is pretty. It's, uh, most of its value has been lost through the wear, but we're going to wash it up real nice for them. Get all those uh, dark stains. I think she said they had some puppies in the house. Get all those dark stains out. I am going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to run this through the automatic duster, but we will run it through the centrifuge. I'm going to diaper it. Um, I've got some absorbent material that basically we're going to put on the front and back to protect the rug so we can spin the water out of it. And then we're gonna let it dry flat on the floor just like it is and uh, return it to the customer where hopefully she can get another 150 years out of it. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. Let's get started.
soap. That's soap. Uh, spraying through a small sure flow pump. Uh, we're using uh, Chem Max Chemicals now, 100%. The Rug Shop. This is their triple deodorizing shampoo because this rug has some urine in it. So that's what I'm doing there. Anytime you see me with the smaller hose, we are shooting chemical. All right, let's get back. Okay, I'm going to interrupt here because I know that you are over there laughing your tail off at my brush. But I am not shy about stealing brushes from any industry. This is a car wash brush and it is the perfect stiffness and holds a lot of moisture for the soap for these rugs. So I use it, but the handle sucks. So I got to get a longer handle for this brush. Uh, but that's why. Now, let's get back to scrubbing.
Well, guys, there you go. Wash this old, very worn threadbare antique rug. And just look how much that pink pops now. So, I'm going to wrap this one up, drop the fans on this bad boy, but uh, you know, make sure you click the subscribe button, and thanks for watching. What pink is left used to be red. Uh, what's left really pops. You can still see some of the orangey yellow dyes. So what pile that is left on this rug is now clean. We don't have any of the big stains. Um, anyway, beautiful old rug. I think the customer will be happy. We'll let it dry, I'll put some fans on it. We may rinse it one more time. Um, but you can see these, my diapers came out white, which means we got all the soil out. Any soil that's left is going to stick to that nylon like glue. So if they came out white, that means all the soil is out of the rug.